What the heck are you? Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I'm the Global Cherry, and today we will be playing Kingdoms of Amalur, The Re Reckoning. To join the Order of Glorious Knights, subscribe, like the video, and share the video. The Seely Fae are bonded to the land they inhabit and often reflect the nature of the land. Who are the Seelys? From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. What mistakes? We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. This looks so cool! We should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. We should have foreseen the events. Awaken. A force. Star Wars? To twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. Oh, who are they? But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fey were not. Aggressive, ambitious. Visionary. He had He was on the dark side. Terrible and deadly. <laughs> Gadblow and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflow's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two us are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? We were weak, but we will be strong later. For ten years, the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least. Who are they? Believed. Are those orcs? You died. I died? Well, that was a short game. I'm Sir Laugh a lot. Shadows die twice. Wait, that's Sekiro. It was all just a dream. Here's the title screen The Kingdoms of Amalur Re Reckoning. Do you think this one is that Alpha, Balan, could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise. Oh, are those dwarves? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. All right, you prick. Oh, gosh. I can't choose. What kind of characters am I going to choose? Yeah! Nope, not this hairstyle. Not this one. Not this one. Ah, she's a low sulfur. And not in bad shape, all things considered. I never did like her myself. Snooty bunch. Thank you, I had an elven workout. Right. Make sure it goes into the report. You know you'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. I'd like a name. Aw. Let's name you Ophelia. I want to get to the story. Well, that's it for you then. That Are you putting star. me in the incinerator? Oh no, wait! Wait, where did you put me? Oh, okay, that must be scary. I 
I have to get out of here. The stench of the dead bodies fill my nose. Let's get out of here, Ophelia. Ew, gross. Where are we? What is this mystical cave? Is this a lever? Whoa! What caused the rumble in this cave? Now we're talking, we look badass! What happened? Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! It hasn't been two minutes into the game and they're already causing a massacre! What is that? Food! Food! I need food! Oh! I turned you into Ratatouille. Child of dust shall escape. Who says I was a child of dust? You! Up there! Please help me! Please. What's going on? I'll help you find your way back to the garden. Oh my gosh! I have some last words before you both die. Hit or miss. <laughs> Those are like the worst words to die to. To dodge, move L in the direction you want to go and press circle. Oh! It worked! By the dome it worked! You're alive! What happened to me? Uh, well, um, you died. I don't know how or even where. But this gnome startled me. Made in the well of souls and somehow it worked. Thanks for reviving me. So to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Hughes? Who is Hughes? Professor Formerus Hughes. The well of souls is his life's work. I see. Coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. What are we waiting for, Ansel? Enough to get to Hughes. Now let's get going. Let's get going. Not so fast, Ansel. Where is Hughes? He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least I hope he's there and safe. At least there's hope. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention, the Well of Souls. That Imagine brings people back to life. Hope. An end to death. That sounds very dangerous. Are these like dark nights? I see these dark nights cause terrorism. Come on, there's no time to waste. Uh Whatever's behind that door sounds very heavy. And so let's go. Oh! It's a truth, a soldier. Oh gosh! Oh! Take that! More than just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? Where's the longbow? Oh, we got a new weapon. I'm having trouble shooting. Does it auto lock? I guess it does. Go, go. Patience is a virtue, especially for a true warrior, right? Prepare to be sacrificed, mortal. I am no mere mortal. I did a closed range shot. Deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. A knight is courageous, but they should always be aware of their enemy. Ooh. Daggers and fade blades, a deadly combination. Look at the mortal vermin scatter. Who are you calling mortal vermin? Oh. 
blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. I'm the chosen one. Incredible. What are you? I am an elf. Legolas was my brother in Rivendell Kingdom. This cave is magical. It's responding to me. Oh! Oh, okay, my arachnophobia is kicking in. God dang it. I really hate spiders. <laughs> Not more spiders oh! <laughs> I think Encel also hates spiders as well. Oh, I hate the sounds of them crawling. Oh, okay, I hate this spider. Oh, oh, huh. Oh my god, the whales of the spiders. That's what I intend to find out. She came out of the well. What? She better get inside to see the old man. Quick! Order's twat to make another push. I almost accidentally killed that dwarf. We part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. I need more help. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tawatha. But this is the armory after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. I was examining a potion. <laughs> you've made it. And look at you. Even with all you've been through. The Tawatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The Well of Souls. The pursuit of immortality. Why is everyone after immortality? First success. If we only had the time. There's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. I'll stay and fight. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Wait, what is it? Where are you going? Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. That inside the lab. Oh no, the Tuatha. They invaded the laboratory. No, we've got to get you out of here now, quickly. I'll help you fight. Follow the path to the town of Gorm. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! Oh no! <laughs> no, you can't fight them! <laughs> Why is everyone sacrificing their life for Ophelia? We have to get out of here quickly. See them. Get moving, you brute. Tear this tower apart. Who is this? I don't want to open the door. What the heck are you? Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, gosh. Dodge! Keep a distance! Okay, ow! <laughs> I can beat you, you troll! Okay! Why does he never miss? Oh, 
Oh, he's resistant to fire! You can't catch me if you can't find me! Oh, ow! You have been defeated, foul beast! Feel my elven magic. Another survivor. Are there any more? No. I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. I don't know. I guess my character wasn't that persuasive. Fomoris Hughes was one of the greatest minds of our generation. The Well of Souls was a dream that was almost too good to come through. But his experiment worked. This was supposed to be a nice isolated grove. So much for that. But Alistair was taken over by Tuatha. Who knows why the Tuatha hate mortals? Who knows why the Fae do half the things they do? Oh, so they're dark Fae. The well was a beautiful dream. An end to death. A cure to tragedy. It would have made war pointless. It could have saved the world. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Yes, Agarth. Maybe you can help an old Fate Weaver, eh? What do you need, Fate Weaver? Duke sent me to find you. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. Bro, you're his friend, man. What do you know about Hughes? When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly, although we did a lot of drinking after that. I wish I could, but times are tough. I've barely got enough to pay my bar tabs as it is. Is my character just not that persuasive? You? You're the one. Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Who's coming? Oh. Here are the Tuatha. Wanna fight with me? Go! More company! When your fate meter is full, the fate symbol will pulse. You can use your fate energy to enter reckoning mode. <gasps> this is so dope! Your fates have been sealed. Oh ho ho ho! Your fate has been sealed, Tuatha soldier. What? How? What are you? I'm an elf. Of an elf knight. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? Let me explain. You can change your own fate. Hughes may have brought you back to life, but that was still part of fate's plan. Nothing short of a god can do what you did. Come so, I'm going there's to more to me you with this power. The threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. Do you always see death? It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes. Other people write poetry. I peer into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That sounds like a terrible gift. Fine, show me my fate. You're nervous. I'm curious. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. What does my I'll future hold? Your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? 
I swear I haven't had that much. You can't see my face? Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just missing. I don't exist? Sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. So I am the fate changer. And I'm not saying I believe it. And your path is yours to determine. What did you see? I can see the threads around you. But they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards. And I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. My fate is mine. Wrong with me. And there isn't. Or there's something very wrong with you. Hey. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. The forest looks so pretty. Look at all the leaves and the magical flowers. Harvested ember eyes. I don't know what those are. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. What are these groans of pain? What happened here? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. So she wasn't beat to death, she was stabbed. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. Oh, she's a I Fae? I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. I'd like to help. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. How? There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's so are people truth. scared of Fae? The Fae will know how to heal a Fae. If not, then we're back where we started. Look at the way Ophelia is running right now. Oh, these woods don't look safe. Oh, I see you are bandits. You want to go? Roast like a marshmallow. Why does Arnold live in such a dangerous area. What are you? Let's get the elf. It's warning its family. I'm a friendly character. Ugh, finally, someone that looks like they could stand up to a moderate breeze. Why have There's people got robbed? Such as yourself. Me and a crew are mounting an expedition to a new land, south of here. Where's the expedition going? Ah, clever and strong, I see. It's as I said, we're going to the teeth of Naros, the land south of Dalentarth. If you want more information, seek Helic Cross. He's leading us. We're camped beyond Edmere. I see. Who is this? You look pretty injured. The two legs, please help me. Are the two legs are cruel. They will not help. No! I am cursed! Yeah, you seem very cursed. What curse is that? You believe me? Many think I am just another two legs. They are wrong. I am a wolf. Cursed to wear this shape by evil sprites as some cruel game. So they turned the wolf into a human. But two leg bodies are so clumsy, they can't even catch the meat birds. I must be changed back. Okay. The sprites are near. This is interesting. Now I smell them, but I cannot fight in this form. Will you help two legs? <laughs> is that a bear? Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh! Where are you going? Afraid of a little fire? Why is Arden's place so far away? Interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. 
What did you expect? Arden is dead. What did you expect? To offer to this place. They killed the Fate Weaver. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Why well, assume I'm involved? For no reason. At least not one you have to worry about. Why didn't you save him? If I'd interfered, the Tuatha would know I was tracking them. This Fate Weaver wasn't worth losing valuable information. But the Tuatha are still on the move. I must go. I'm certain we will see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. She disappeared. What happened? In smoke. Oh! Oh, it's Agarth. What's with characters giving me jump scares? Arden's dead. How did this happen? The Tuatha killed him. Why would they have come here? Why kill a harmless old fate weaver? They couldn't know that you were headed here. I mean... The stingy bastard owes me a week of drinks. Doesn't mean he deserved to be murdered. I was hoping That's what you're concerned this. about? But I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. Who's Delok? It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go. I'll meet okay. You once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake. Hey, don't be like that. This all continues down the dark and perilous forest. Mm -hmm. I'm never used to this. It's a giant spider. Oh! Feel my cleansing fire. You filthy beast. Requested. But don't think me ungrateful. I could... Uh, Kanarok could use someone of your particular skill. What happened to this town? We sit on the border to Webwood. Most of us silk farmers. Normally, we rely on our bridges and an ancient summer fay aura to guard us. But of late, what defenses we have are failing. These monstrous spiders strike at us from all sides. They've even gotten as far as Yolven. I don't know where Yolvin is. He's led by the village's chief defender, Barton. We need someone to go find him and his party. I say, isn't there anything we can do about all this uncivilization in these lands? We have magic and weapons. Should be easy work. You want me to help you with this uncivilization? I'm part of an expedition to the teeth of Naros. And we need another to come with us on the journey. What's this We're expedition? To unexplored land south of Dalentorf. They're said to house unimaginable wealth. Our coffers will thank us when we get there. If you need more information, find our camp near Ettenmere and speak to our leader, Helic. Experience my hammer! I'm a mighty elf warrior. I'm being surrounded. No! I'm getting out of here! What the heck do you want? What is happening? Why are there three? What kind of city is this? I almost died. I can't even dodge these things. They're huge. I have the best sword. Yes! It's killing these brutes so easily. Whoa! Show me your power, wolves. That brute went down in three shots. I don't feel vulnerable anymore. Feel my blades of magic. This is a new technique I learned three minutes ago. So we will be opening the door and meeting Agarth in the next video. 
That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share the video, especially if you want another episode of Kingdoms of Amalur, The Re-Reckoning. Thank you for watching, and that's all.